the protesters, who are members of the opposition NDC, were on the morning of Wednesday, December 23, 2020, prevented from entering into the premises of the Electoral Commission in the Volta region to present a petition on what they say were flaws recorded in the just-ended 2020 general election. The protesters, led by some key NDC members and the MP for the whole central constituency, Benjamin Kodo, walked through some principal streets of the municipality before rounding up at the forecourt of the EC, only to find the gates of the office locked. While the police explained that the office had been locked up by the EC itself, the MP for whole central, Benjamin Kodo, insisted that the police deliberately prevented them from assessing the office, although they had given sufficient notice. We had to give them almost seven days' notice to, to, to enable us to fulfill, to enable us to fulfill the, uh, the, the, the agreement under the Public Order Act. That is why we are here today. Otherwise, we would have been here on Friday. And this is a copy, or this is the original of the letter sent to us by the police, allowing us to present five leaders to the EC officials for the presentation of the uh, petition. So I don't understand why at this point they will now barricade the offices. And it is, it is on record, we have information that it is the police who have come to barricade the place yes. and not EC officials. The whole central MP says the EC must focus on correcting the errors on the 2020 election rather than going on break when there are outstanding post-election issues to be dealt with. Where in the history of EC have they gone on leave in that manner? Is it Akupado who is giving is, 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 is it, a mandatory as a level? Is the level the same as the EC? We are in a period of election. election. And you are running away. We are in the pe period of transition from the 7th parliament to the 8th parliament. And the electoral commission is a key holder. Key stakeholder. No, Why are they on leave? No, no, leave. What? No, Why are they on leave? Even if leave for what? Office must not be on leave. They should be recalled. They should be recalled. In fact, in many instances, even when people are on leave, hospitals, when they are on leave, the yeah. skeletal staff, they should bring the skeletal staff to come and work. Who is, who is going to announce the, uh, uh, the, the, the members who have, who have won their seats for uh, swearing in? Who is going to announce their names? Meanwhile, the Crime Control Officer of the whole Municipal Police Command, Jesse Opari, says the police is not responsible for the locking up of the EC's office. Two of the protesters managed to scale the wall of the regional EC office to drop the petition in front of the office. Some protesters told City News that they only want the commission to openly correct its errors. My message to the EC is that uh, he is the EC and he said he, he, she I announced uh, our results. He went and came back and said that he has made a mistake. Fine, if you made a mistake, what will you do? Come back. Come back and correct your mistake. Then you are running away. Running to where? Eh? Nobody is chasing her. Nobody is chasing Jimensa, but she is running away, running from her own shadow. So you should come back and correct the mistake. Otherwise, she will never have peace on earth. That's my message to Jim Mensa. He should come back and correct the mistake. Everybody does a mistake. But you, you have done a mistake. Why won't you come back and correct your mistake? So he should come back and correct the mistake so that Ghana will have peace. My problem is that Ghanaians have said that Ghana people have voted for Nana. But when you watch what is going on, we did not vote for Nana. We did not vote for Nana because the things that are going on, we didn't buy it. So we don't want Nana.